What is up YouTube? This is Adore TV here and I have a quick little like unboxing and review and also this is like a personal opinion video. Well, I really haven't done a video in a while so I figured I'd do this. The other day I got this iPhone 3G from GameStop. It was pre-owned. It wasn't in that bad of condition. It cost me like it was on sale for like 78 bucks but they had a 10% off discount so the phone itself was like 71 but I got a warranty with it and I also got this case for it as well you know I figured just get a case because you know case is a case and I also got the $10 one year warranty with it as well oh I guess I'll get to it uh, the box right here as you can see is packaged very nicely it's uh, the 3G, not the 3GS, and I'll get talking about that here shortly. But in the box, it comes with earbuds, sync cable, and the power adapter. So let's get to it. You open up the box, you slide it open, and there's my iPhone in the case. It comes with a screen protector and a little emblem protector on the back, but it's really cheap. But as you can see here, that's what it was. But I have a rewards card, so I also got an additional like two dollars off, you know. If you open up the case, it's kind of, uh, I mean, the box, my bad. It's kind of hard. There we go. There, there's the back side of that. But initially, whenever you get it, it slides in between this bottom flap right here. But I'll just put that off to the side. I've used this for like two days now, and I have my final thoughts and opinion. But here's the power adapter. And this little plastic piece right here connects to it. This is the sync cable. It's a generic one. I'll just put that there. Here's a little baggie. Everything came in. Here are the uh, knockoff headphones. I didn't even dare touch them because I knew they were bad. But I really only got the phone because I needed a phone at the moment. Because I have AT&T and you can just pop out the SIM card which is located up here. With a... I can't pick it up because I don't have fingernails but... Oh there we go. With a paper clip you just push it down in and the uh, tray will just eject right out. Yeah. This was slightly a mistake buying this phone now that I think about it I'm gonna take it back here once I get my friend to unjailbreak it because the first day I had it I went over to a friend's house and uh, he downloaded Red Snow which is Cydia on here and it helped it a little bit but it really wasn't much of a great significant difference towards the phone itself seeing how this is only the 3G not the 3GS and the problem with the 3G is it has a camera that does not have autofocus, it only zooms, no flash, no nothing, which I can understand, but it doesn't take that bad of photos, but I was just slightly disappointed in it. And the headphone jack and everything works pretty good. There's the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. There's your uh, mute, volume rockers right here, home button, speaker, microphone, and dock. Sorry, I'm using my 4th gen iPod like I do with most of my videos, but up here on the uh, left corner, that's where your proximity sensors are. They work really well, and then you have the uh, speaker itself. So, uh, with the 3G iPhone, they quit making updates for it. It became obsolete in a sense. The uh, firmware or iOS for this is a 4.2.1, and with that, there is nothing you can download. I mean, well, I mean, there's not nothing, but there is a very, very small scale of apps you can download. But I'll power on my iPhone. As you can see, since I jailbroke it, I chose a different emblem to start it off with, a little logo, and I chose the Android because I figured to be fitted very well that I jailbroke it so on there might be videos where people say you can download the uh, newest firmware and stuff 
it's only like an emulator for themes and stuff. Like it makes it think it has that operating system on it, but you can't download anything else. Like whatever firmware this has, that's it. You can't do anything else with it. So just wait for this to power on. It takes it a little bit. It takes it just a little bit longer seeing how it's been jailbroken. Most of these like scratch and scuffs marks are from the screen protector. And the protector is not even built in. It actually slides around. And I found out that if you just like push up on it until it kind of clicks. I don't know if you can see up here. Because this doesn't have an autofocus. But you might be able to on the left pocket. You see like this really clear glossy looking piece. That's a screen protector. And it slid up where it gets held in place. But yeah. This is a picture I actually took with my iPhone. Didn't come out too bad. And right here, as you can see, I have it jailbroken. And the 3G phone does not come with the battery percentage. So that's a uh, toggle switch from Cydia that I have installed. And for shits and giggles, I also downloaded the uh, Call of Duty Elite Silver and Green. And also, if I miss a phone call, it says Call of Duty Elite right next to it. The green says I have a text message. So, slide to unlock. This is the home screen right now because I have the uh, I have Cydia on it. It runs okay. It does slow it down significantly though. As you can see, I have Doodle Jump, and that's pretty much like the only application that is supported by this phone. But yeah, it's not that that bad. But I'm gonna take off Cydia and Winterboard, and I'm. Just gonna wipe out this phone, take it back to GameStop, cause there is a slight problem with it as well, cause it locks up very easily, and this was even before I put City on it. And also, I always knew that the battery life was terrible with the 3G, but sometimes it won't even charge. Like you'll plug it in and nothing happens, or sometimes it like gets really hot, and then all of a sudden the battery says it's half full, quarter full, you know. But yeah, uh, I believe I have a sample photo you can guys look at. I only took a couple. Like, as you can see, the clarity of the pictures are pretty good. This is my friend's tractor, similar to what I have. It's kind of hard with this screen protector, seeing how cheap it is. But you can zoom in decently. I mean, it's alright, but... Yeah, I figured I'd make a quick little video about this before I get rid of it. Like, I can do some sound quality tests too. As you can see, I have AT&T. I'm running off of the $25 a month unlimited text in like 500 talk minutes or something like that. It's not bad. It's 3G. It's not saying 3G because I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi. But, uh... Man, you remember that shit easy did a while back, motherfucker said wasn't gonna work. Word. As you can see, it uh plays pretty good. The uh sound isn't amplified out of this top speaker, but it is through the bottom. So yeah. Tell me what you think about this, so uh please comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you for watching.